What's going on everybody? Today I wanted to go over how to get gold bullion. I've been asked over and over again what the best methods are and quite simply running events. Run as many events as you possibly can. All right, video over. That's it. It's like, I'm just kidding. They scale from two to a lot more than two for each event. And I'll go over the, the best one by far at the end. The first couple of events I want to talk about are pretty much the events that only reward two gold bullion. And don't get it twisted. Just because they only reward two do not mean they're terrible events. They're actually quite rewarding, not only for gold, but for resources as well. First of all, Riding Shotgun is at Big Bend Tunnel East. And you go there and you talk to Vinny. Once you're here, you run up to this guy, this guy in a cool little blue suit and uh, drinking his coffee. I don't blame him. Look at him. We're best friends already. Go ahead and talk to good old Vinny. We'll talk some, some cool stuff to you. Keep an eye out. Shipments coming through, blah, blah, blah. You hit start event. You'll gather some folks and y'all will be on your merry way. You get two gold bullion every single time you do this and you can start this event whenever you want. This being one of the, just one of the first ones I wanted to talk about. Although it's two, only two gold bullion each run. You know, it's something to do in between other events. So why not? If you're, if you're trying to get your secret service or try to hustle for something, this is worth throwing into your grind. Second up are your, although they're not always available, are your meat weeks and your fast knot day or primal cuts. With meat week, primal cuts, it, it pops up every 10 minutes. Like I said, they're not always available, they're seasonal, but when they are around, you can stock up. That's how I got all my treasury notes, I would say, or how I got so far ahead is on meat weeks and basically primal cuts is my number one way to get gold bullion when it's available. But you hit enough of those, you'll get so so far ahead you have so much you won't know what to do with it like i have uh that's legendary cores that too legendary cores is a whole other man you keep hitting events over and over and over again you're gonna have so many damn cores and so many damn treasury notes 3300 treasury notes and that's that's insane okay so we got our two treasury note events out the way next up are the ones that reward three treasury notes that's gonna be your line in the sand uranium fever and free range those are the threes uh, the three i suggest that pop up pretty often more importantly line in the sand and uranium fever because they reward steel and you need steel to make bullets so i would hit those as much as possible at least in the early game other quests that reward three each time you do so and also reward your daily reputation are your foundation and your crater quests their daily quests vital equipment with ward and retirement plan with roxy ward being and foundation and roxy being in the crater not only do they give you three gold bullion each time you complete it they give you reputation every single time so you're going to be doing a lot of those anyway so you might as well just keep rocking them up ward is pretty much right through the front gate come to the right and he's in this little hut most of the time nine times out of ten he's in here he will start the vital equipment quest so he just gave me 11 script as well the reputation i already have maxed three treasury notes right there boom a lot of the time you can find roxy leaning up against this bus otherwise she'll be walking around but you can tell because she has her mouth all sewn up man she looks wild but yeah she gives you the retirement plan quest pretty much you go kill somebody for bullion and some uh some rap good stuff now we're getting into the big boys those are going to be your scorched earth so encrypted each time you run encrypted you get four treasury notes scorched earth which is one of the nuke events encrypted scorched earth rad rumble and project paradise are all damn good events for leveling up not only leveling up but getting gold bullion and steel really those are probably the best events in the game aside from this last one i'm gonna mention which you might already know where i'm going you may or may not know but first we got to go over the man of fallout 76 and he is located at the wayward which is i mean you, you know where the wayward is anyway our boy smiley which is right upstairs good old american where's he at oh he's sitting at the desk that's an odd place for you buddy you can never have enough gold can't gold is great oh oh well i don't want no smoke anyway smiley here he sells up to 300 gold for 6,000 caps. And uh, if that sounds like a lot of caps, it really isn't. If you want to see my caps video, I'll link it down in the description below, but caps are fairly easy to make. Yeah, man, Smiley is the plug of Fallout 76. Okay, he's undeniably, I mean, look, look, look at that outfit. Look at the, dude, he's, dude, he's the man. I don't care what you think about him. That's all American. I want that, I want that belt buckle. But yeah, all right, moving on. We've gone over a quest to give you two bullion, three bullion, and four bullion. But there is one quest that totally beats 
all of them by far and that is going to be colossal problem man no other i haven't seen any other videos mention earl and giving eight bullion i know a lot of them are a little dated as well that's why this video was necessary but man earl williams colossal problem is the best event by far you can spawn it whenever you want by launching a nuke not only do you get tons of good stuff from the winnegos like purified waters screws ballistic fiber the ammo you shoot at it acid which you're gonna need for ammo colossal problem is all around the best event for everything you need most of the things you need in this game and including bullion it gives you literally eight every single time so if you do three nukes that's 24 bullion that's half of what you need that day but yeah guys that about sums it up man that's how you get a ton of gold bullion really fast it's fairly easy man if you like this video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you want more content man if you like fallout crochet item hold up you got these cool little things my girl's actually making them little fallout guys if you're interested drop a comment below they're pretty freaking cool little baby yoda pikachu thumbs up any number you want on the back i put 63 because you know fallout 76 the etsy link will be in the description below make sure you check that out there's all kind of cool stuff on there i know this video is a little different than how i'm usually doing it i wanted to get this out decently fast if you like the style of this, let me know about that below. Or if you didn't, please let me know. I stream Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 6.30 Eastern. It's a lot of good people, man. Thanks for watching. Y'all take it easy. Peace.